Hi everybody, it's Miss Janet, and it's time for another story time. Today's book is called This is a Sea Cow, written and illustrated by Cassandra Fetterman, and published by Albert Whitman and Company. This is a Sea Cow. My Cassandra Fetterman, Mr. Tucker's class, June 3rd. You're going to do great today, love mom. This is a sea cow. Hello. I prefer manatee, please. She is a lot like a land cow. Um, I don't think so. That's a cow. Does she look like a cow to you? I don't think so. She eats grass like a cow. Sea grass. I'm not a lawnmower. She can't see very far. Neither can cows. Who's talking? Show yourself. She weighs over a thousand pounds like a cow. Hey, that's personal information. And she gets gassy like cows. Underwater gas makes bubbles and everybody loves bubbles. She breathes air through nostrils in her stubby cow-like snout. I like to think of it as a sturdy nose. She even makes milk like a cow. Actually, a cow makes milk like me. But the milk squirts out of her armpits. What's wrong with armpit milk? At least armpits are tucked away. Cow udders just hang there. Gross. Sea cows have little toenails on their flippers, but I guess that's not very cow-like. Maybe you should start comparing me to cooler animals. Like, did you know both manatees and sharks grow new teeth all our lives? Wait, what are you writing there? Sea cows are more like elephants than cows because they both have toenails and also the same great, great, 50 million times great grandparents. Nuh-uh, no one in my family has a tail on their face. But an elephant's brain is so big that it never forgets. Sea cows have small brains. Hey, who says I have a small... Wait, what were we talking about again? Explorers probably had small brains too because they thought sea cows were mermaids. A mermaid? Me? I think sea cows, la, 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 I can't hear you. I'm busy being a beautiful mermaid. Are actually, please, pretty please, don't call me a cow again. My new favorite animal. <gasps> Thank you. except for seahorses, because they are a lot like land horses. Um, I don't think so. Good luck, buddy. The end. Just for the record, land cows are awesome. And here we see some facts about the manatees. Let's see. And even though we are heavy, manatees have very little blubber, so we can't survive in water below 68 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why we like to live in warm vacation spots, like Florida. Manatees can live for about 60 years. My manatee is 65. She also lives in Florida. When I grow up, I'll be 10 to 13 feet long. Standing on my tail, I could be as tall as a basketball hoop, so I could totally dunk. Manatees are herbivores, which means we only eat plants. I eat three bathtubs full of seagrass salad every day. Delish. Manatees come for air every three to five minutes, but we can hold our breath for 20. How long can you guys hold your breath? Manatees can swim three to five miles per hour, which is the average speed that people walk. Manatees are a lot like people. And we see there are different types of manatees. And look at this, guys. It says, you can even adopt a manatee. 
but we can't live in your bathtub or anything, so we'll just send you pictures instead. Check out the adoption programs offered by the Save the Manatee Club and World Wildlife Fund by going to their websites. So you guys can come into the library and take out books about manatees and learn that they're not really like sea cows, they're their own animal. I hope you, everybody enjoyed the story and learned a little bit about manatees today. Have a good week, everybody. Bye.